Hey, how's it going, folks? Well, we do have a few things to talk about this evening in terms of some of the fallout last night from TLC with a medical update on Kari Sane. Also, a top star has signed a new deal with the WWE, and Primo Cologne is fighting a suspension that he was given for failing a wellness policy test. Let's start off with that today. Primo Cologne is looking to clear his name and he spoke out to Primera Hora, which is a Spanish language magazine in Puerto Rico. He did state that he was suspended for not attending mandatory WWE testing in October, but he made WWE personnel aware that he was in Puerto Rico and did not want to pay for a flight to the WWE event if he is not being used and would rather take it at a lab closer to him. Cologne didn't hear anything back from the company, presuming they would call him to schedule an appointment with a local lab. Then two months later, he receives a letter indicating he was suspended because he refused to take the test. Cologne plans to appeal the suspension. He adds that his reputation is worth more than a paycheck and he wants to clear his name regarding the suspension. And Cologne did add that he's currently being paid by the company for not working matches and he's fine with that and his contract ends October 2020 but he does state that he didn't fail any tests he simply didn't take a test as WWE wanted him to come to a live event and if you're not working that event WWE will not pay for your trans and for the fact that he would have to pay for it himself just to take a test and not being used so I kind of see where he's coming from on that now let's get into Kofi Kingston. He did sign a long-term deal with WWE. He did make note of this on the New Day's Feel the Power podcast. Kofi Kingston revealed he recently signed a new five-year deal with WWE and he originally signed with WWE back in 2006. He was assigned a role with Deep South Wrestling, the development t territory, and now Kofi Kingston's new contract runs until 2024. Let's get into some news regarding Kari Sane. If you did watch WWE TLC last night, you would have noticed how Kari Sane did look out of it, very banged up after the match where her and Asuka retained the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Kari Sane was given medical attention and then up until now we didn't have any updates on her. While well, Ryan Satin over pressing sheet does indicate that sources within the WWE do state that Kari Sane is not medically clear to compete at this time as she was knocked out. Um, during the first few minutes of the match, not exactly sure where exactly she was knocked out, but she was knocked out. And then throughout the match, she really struggled, uh, but she pulled through. And as far as, you know, her being knocked out and still able to finish the match, definitely commend Kari Sane. Hopefully she will be back in the ring sooner than later. That being said, your thoughts, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to DDT that like button and subscribe. Join the notification squad to be notified of new videos. And I have a great day.